G'day guys, this is Hamlet, and here come the Ooh. This will probably be the last video. And that was, the word probably was in that, in that mess of noise somewhere. Uh, so you know, um, you'll obviously know if this is the last video or not by the time you're watching it, seeing as I'll probably state it. But all we have to do is get a key, and then do the level, and then go to the place, and burp, and then, uh, and then burp again. That was the same burp I was referring to earlier then, and then face Wizpick, and then win. Do, 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 do. Indeed, my Huckleberry Finn friend. Crescent Island is the place where you will locate the key for this world, the only world we have not found the key in. Crescent While we're going, we're going to go on it. Uh, now let's go on a hovercraft, just because we can! And also, because we need to go on water, which is actually the reason why I'm doing so. Get ready, then leave the vicinity in your vehicle, preferably racing somewhere. Apparently, we have to go over here, and what is this opening in the wall? Oh, it's the key. I'm shocked. So, uh, we get a... No, I didn't want to do that, you cock. Let... Open the door. Open the door. And uh, it opens, it opens, and then the key. That's not how keys work. Because they have to turn in and then in. in. Oh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, here's my uh, special guest for this video, David Bowie. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is David Bowie. Just coming to say that you have to go up here and then down there when you're doing an impression of me. That's pretty terrible. I'm guessing. I don't really know how David Bowie sings. Um, the gist of the, this is basically like the uh, thing in um. Mario karting while well, if you want I guess where you have to do the stuff and the thing and also the stuff um, no you have to shoot everyone else and they lose um, missiles and things it's basically the same as that ice one except it's on water so it's completely brand new and it, anyone who argues with me is a troller as I am prone to say so here's a tree here's a balloon we're gonna get the balloon, because it's by the tree. It's that balloon by the tree, which I'm always talking about. And by always, I mean never. Which is always the case. I'm always one to uh, contradict myself. I believe that seemed to have shot him. With, in the shoot, that shooted him in the face with a gun. Boom, you died. Boom, boom, shake the room. Oh, you penis. You shot me, you fun guy. And I'm, I'm not winning. Oh, Timber has died. That seems unfortunate for him, but not so much for me, as I am trying to murder him in this event. Very dangerous event, really. And also quite mean-spirited. What did he... Did Timber do something to deserve being murdered by missiles? I doubt it. Yet, we are doing so with no possible repercussions from the law. I don't understand where the uh, Diddy Kong Racing Police are to arrest me for shooting him in the face right where his face lives. I didn't want that, I wanted the red balloons I had. You have lied to me, game, and made me look like an idiot. But I, I usually look like an idiot, so you haven't really done a lot in that situation. You're dead, and by dead, I mean shot once. And twice and three times, sold for a dollar. And by that, I mean something else. So here's a, is a, is a person here, I guess. I don't... I'm trying to use the map in the bottom corner, but it's very difficult. And oh! You didn't shoot me, thank you for not doing that. Everyone has one life left. That was a, a bad decision, eh? Uh, that, was, that was my Spanish-speaking version of this uh, game. If you want that on audio cassette, eat a dick. I don't sell audio cassettes. Diddy's dead. Oh, that was close. Almost died there, but I didn't in the end, which is fortunate for me. And now, he's that guy. Yes! Can't even see him, and I shoot him. Boo! That was very fortunate. And... Hard to get out of here, we get the stuff and uh... Wow, we've got a whole thing. You can enter the TT door, which is pretty fantastic really. I mean, I'm I'm just so overjoyed that I'm going to skip right to going to that world. Editing and stuff. And we're back. Sorry, cut right to the cutscene there, so if we missed a second. Uh, stuff. Whizpig, again! God, this, this game's so repetitive. Much like this whole LP. Aha. Jokes about me. Self-deprecation. One of the things that I, I've just done. Oh! That looks painful for him. 
So, um, I guess we're racing him? Which would make sense, it's a racing game. Oh, uh, what do you want? Okay. He's a turtle, you cock, not a bloody worm. None of the characters are worms. There's like a rabbit and a, no, a mouse and a, there's a monkey for some reason. All these animals, no worms. Get ready. I'm not going to win this first shot, am I? No. I really didn't need to say anything there. It's kind of obvious that I wouldn't. Seeing as, you know, it's the final thing of the game. I would suspect it would be reasonably difficult. J yeah, just ever so slightly. So I guess we can kind of catch him up here. A little bit. Doesn't seem to be working too well. He's kind of getting away. He's getting away! Won't somebody stop him? Please, no. Think of the children. No, it's, it's just Simpsons. How am I supposed to do this when A, I don't know how to turn properly, and B, actually, no, just A. No, no, A, a pretty much sums it all up. We're very far behind him, or at the very least, not ahead of him. And that was us getting shot. And that was us getting shot again. And here's a tunnel. And I think this is more of an investigationing style. Let's uh, let's try again. Okay, so here's this thing. Uh, we're back. Now, at this point, I, I'm, what I'm recording right now, I have tried at least 30 times to do this race. It is ridiculous how many times I've had to do this race over. This is the most annoying race because I cannot fly a plane for the life of me, real life or in the game. So I find it very difficult. And then you've got to deal with Wizpig doing well, and you've got to deal with tight corners, and you've got to deal with all this stuff. And basically, it's a lot like a rhythm game. You've got to find a pattern, which isn't like a rhythm game at all, like Guitar Hero or something. Wow, I referenced a, p a popular current game, unlike this stuff. Excuse me. Uh, basically, what you got to do is every time you got to go through, get your red missiles in case Wizpig gets ahead of you. If he doesn't get ahead of you, you go and get that, you get that shield there so you can get through that bit. Lap 2 is what we're on. Two different colors of lap because it is not a lap dance. It is. A, I don't know why you would be, think it was. You, you would really have misunderstanding of the lap dancing subject possibility thing and stuff if you think it was that. So there's lots of arrows around. It's as if Wispig created a track and then doesn't know where it is. Surely he should make arrows that tell me to go the other way so that he would beat me. And really, if Wispig really wants me, like, to win, surely he would just not race me and just kill me because he is much larger than me. Why is he even giving me the chance to race him to try and win the game? It doesn't make any sense. Why would he let you do that? By the way, this is possibly the best recording that I've ever done so far right now. This is impossibly well going the... There was no that in the sentence. My apologies. Final lap. The lap that is final. Oh, well, that that's a good sign. Losing is fun. But, uh, yeah, every time, seriously, I'd crash into one of those po poles at the start. I'd crash three times here. I'd miss a balloon. I'd do some... I wouldn't do anything here. This part's reasonably easy. But this is the best we've ever done. And I'm, I, I don't mean to get ahead of myself. We could win this right now. And I'm slightly worried because I've said that. And now we won't, obviously. Please do not let us lose. We've got ten missiles. Better than having the home missile because obviously there's nine more than one. And plus, if you're this... He's this close, he's going to be able to shoot him anyway. Let's get rid of those, let's get the shield. Hopefully this will do well. Let's get to... This is annoying. Because... Oh, we got hit there. We would have died. And we seem to be winning still. We still seem to be winning. We seem to be winning as we cross the line. We seem to have won. Ah, you probably heard none of that. And that wouldn't work at all. And, and I, I was going to swear... Because the little kids would have hated that. And as is customary when you lose a race on a rocket, it just goes out of control all of a sudden. Which makes sense, and now we're in space. And uh, he sure is larger than that planet. And he, he probably needs some sort of space suit on. His head probably would just explode from the uh, pressure. And, uh, and I, I don't know a lot about space. I'm not an astronaut, contrary to popular belief. And he seems to have crashed before that his missile went away. I'm slightly confused but anyway white screen and we're clearly in heaven now no in fact we are seeing the final cutscene because we won the game <laughs> was that citizen so now we're doing the conga now tell me this why were these people racing me? They'd seen me win all these other races, and yet when we get to the future land, oh no, we've still got to race you, tip top. 
Well, sh why, would, why would you race me? Surely you'd want me to win so I could go and beat this pig, seeing as I've shown myself to be the best driver. That doesn't make any sense. Also, they'd know that I'm playing. Surely they'd realize I'm the user character, seeing as every race is determined by when I enter. And only when I enter the race do they do it. And if I press restart, they restart the race. If someone else wins, they don't restart the race. Oh, no, we, they do. I'm, I'm really overthinking this. We're finished! Yes! And the dinosaurs exist. That is obviously true. I am that that basketball player or baseball player who believed in dinosaurs. Didn't believe in dinosaurs. What? I don't. I'm mixing up my references. There's drumstick. We didn't find him, but there's a frog you can run over, and then drumstick appears. See if I can be bothered doing that. Uh, we're right, coming up to the end of the let's play now. This is actually the end. There is nothing more to do apart from drumstick, which I've mentioned. So let's wrap this thing up. Uh, thank you for watching. It has been the longest LP I've ever done. It has been good. It has been fun. We have finished it. And I don't know what I'm doing next, don't ask. So for now, just been saying goodbye, thanks for watching. Blah, 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 blah.